Peppers are warm season crops in the nightshade family. They're closely related to tomatoes, eggplant, and potatoes, and they're available in hundreds of hot and sweet varieties. Modern peppers originate from wild plants from Central and South America that were first cultivated by Native Americans nearly 5,000 years ago. Pepper heat is measured in Scoville heat units. More units mean more heat. Examples include sweet peppers, which have zero Scoville heat units, all the way to ghost peppers, which have well over a million. Even hotter peppers exist. There are hundreds of different pepper varieties. Choose varieties based on color, flavor, and heat. Seek out high-performing, disease-resistant hybrids. If you're planting your peppers indoors from seed, plant them in black gold seedling mix eight weeks before the last frost date. Cover your seeds with 1 8 inch of soil and keep them lightly moist. Grow them in a sunny window or under grow lights. Bottom heat mats will hasten germination. After one or two weeks, they'll sprout. Grow them to about six inches before outdoor planting. When growing your peppers outdoors, provide them with full sun, well-drained fertile soil amended with black gold peat moss, give them average moisture, and support them with stakes or cages. Space them two to three feet apart, depending on the size of your pepper plants. When feeding your peppers, choose a granular or water-soluble tomato or vegetable fertilizer. At planting time, Consider adding one tablespoon Epsom salts to the garden soil for more robust growth. Peppers are pollinated by bees, but some varieties are self-pollinating. Peppers should produce fruits 60 to 95 harvest days after planting, depending on the variety. Harvest green or allow fruits to reach full color for sweeter, fuller flavor. Cut the stems with sharp shears or pruners for easier harvesting, and be sure to wear gloves when handling hot peppers. Common pepper diseases include verticillium wilt, a soil-borne fungal disease where leaves turn yellow, wilt, and plants die. Tobacco mosaic virus, where leaves have mosaic symptoms, wilt, and drop. And tomato-spotted wilt virus, where brownish spots appear on the leaves and greenish circular spots can appear on fruits. With all of these diseases, remove and destroy diseased plants and replant resistant varieties. Common fruit disorders of pepper include blossom end rot, where fruits have a brown or black base. This is caused by a calcium deficiency, so feed them with a calcium fertilizer. Sun scald is another problem where fruits develop watery brown spots that eventually dry and crack. Protect fruits from direct sunlight to ward off against this physiological problem. Give peppers the right care and they will reward you with lots of sweet and spicy fruits. Happy pepper growing!